black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Hey, yo, what up, bro? What's good with y'all? Back with clearly one of my quintessential favorites. You know I'm a BK fiend. However, today we're doing it a little differently. Some of you, most of you, a lot of you, not even, but some of you in the comments have definitely been like, yo, like when you get Whoppers, you, you don't get them with cheese. And I'm like, there's a reason for that. So I'll talk about that in this video. But that said though, I'm switching it up in this video with my BK order, I got something different. I did get one Whopper with cheese. I got one Whopper regular with a little added bonus that I usually do in my videos that you know of. Um, also poutine. Uh, I added chicken fries, and I got the onion rings, of course. That's the secret in this burger. And then I got honey mustard, my favorite fucking sauce ever for anything chicken-based that's dipping. And then also the zesty sauce. That said, before we get to smashing, I just need to disrespect, according to certain people, but also, in my opinion, respect the poutine. Hit it with some cats up or catch up real quick because i love that what we do then is fries poutine ketchup life for you to enjoy also for me wow 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 wow, wow. still so warm so hot this delivery got here so quick Mm. Oh my god. It's fantabulous. That's fantastic and fabulous. At the same time. Man, poutine is such an interesting food to me because it's so obvious and simple and basic. It's just fries and gravy with cheese curds. Yet it's like unique to Canada, right? Yet it's actually nothing wild. It's not that like inventive. Like literally as long as you have cheese curds, anybody can do it. Which is so strange because it feels mysterious. I feel like to like non-Canadians, to people who aren't Canadian, like poutine feels like, like a strange, like unique thing. It's like, it's just fries and gravy with cheese curds. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how unique cheese curds are. All right, so now that we're done with poutine narrative, we have to move into Whopper territory, which is one of my favorite burgers ever. Obviously, too many onions pouring out, but there you go, with cheese. Look at it, look at it in, in all its glory. So this, right now, is for all of the people over the years who have said in my comments, oh my God, you didn't get the Whopper with cheese? Why not cheese? Um, I'll answer that question, but before that, I need to bite this, try it, and tell you why. And maybe I'll be converted right now. Maybe I won't. I don't know. We'll have to see. Mm. 
that's for you, Whopper lover. That's for you, Whopper lover with cheese. I have a verdict for you, but not quite yet. I need to take this middle bite. It's perfect. Look at that. That's literally the perfect bite of a burger. It's very interesting. It's good. It's really good because it's a Whopper. It's like my favorite burger ever. But by its very nature, I appreciate the Whopper in its original form however uh in its original form i've also kind of messed with it and put onion rings on it because i love fried onion ring flavor on this burger uh the thing about cheese with whoppers is that the whopper wasn't designed with cheese And that's my biggest argument when it comes to people in the comments being like, why didn't you get cheese? First things first is the cheese is an additive for a reason and it's not because of they want to make 60 more cents off you it's because this burger was designed without cheese the Big Mac designed by a food engineer with cheese the Whopper Designed by food food engineer without cheese. And personally, that's how it tastes best without cheese. Now, don't get me wrong. I love cheese on burgers, 100%. It's just that for some reason, this one with the tomatoes and the lettuce and the mayo, everything pickles taste best without cheese and with the additive of a fried onion So good, so necessary. And when I first discovered that, the fried onion thing about a Whopper was working with my buddy. We were doing uh, dock cleaning services.
and we would hit up BJ Chicken Fries for lunch and uh, somewhere along the way in that time was when they introduced the Angry Whopper and the Angry Whopper had everything plus cheese I think but also jalapenos angry sauce and there's like fried onion petals they weren't onion rings they were like petals of onion and I was such a fan of the Whopper and I remember just loving Whoppers and then I ate the angry Whopper with the fried onion petals and that Taste changed everything for me. Relative to the Whopper, the original, amazing. Add something like this on it, so good. So since then, because we're all cheap fucks in life and we don't want to pay extra for anything, because life is already just in general expensive. What you do, or at least for me, what I do is, if I order a Whopper meal, I order the onion rings on the side, and then I just stack like a few of them on my burger. And it makes the burger substantially better which I'm not sure I can say about the cheese on this and that's because my other thing about Burger King is with the cheese is that Burger King's cheese in general it's a little stanky I'm not sure about it I don't really love it McDonald's cheese, great, love it. BK cheese, don't love it. Something about its taste, its thickness, everything about it is a little off to me. It's just like it's too pungent, like it's too, it's, it's too much, it's too forward, it's too there. Whereas literally every other chain, Wendy's, McDonald's, all of them, their cheeses are like, they're understated, they're complimentary, like they're just, they, you know, they're not aggressive. I feel like BK's cheese is just aggressive. So it just doesn't really work for me. And once again, to reiterate, the Whopper was designed without cheese. So therefore, I feel like that's its optimal state of being, is to be without cheese. And that's why I love and appreciate it without cheese. Um, that said though, I just mashed two Whoppers and a whole poutine and some chicken fries and a few of these. So I'm dead ass. And I gotta go die now. I'm sure you enjoyed that one. I certainly did. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.